usual, welcome to another kit review. So today, as you can see, we're having a look at a kit from Tamiya. It's in 135th scale, and it is Tamiya's US Jeep quarter ton 4x4 truck, Willis MB. Now, this particular kit is from 1972. Kit number for this one is 35015, and it definitely came out in 1972 because I do actually remember making this one in... Uh, the early 1970s and the sprues in this kit are also copyrighted 1972 so according to scalemates this kit was also released in 1972 with tamiya's older numbering system which was um mm115 so it's possible to pick up this one and the other one there's no difference whatsoever now this particular kit was also released sometime in the 1970s I think around about the mid 1970s if I recall um, not only did you get the Jeep and trailer and these four figures but you also got included Tamiya's uh, US Army Infantry uh, kit number MM113 which was another four figures um, yeah I think that was probably around the mid 1970s all right so let's have a look at the rest of the box on the side you'll see a bit of the cover art this i'm not sure what it is but i think it may be an explanation to um, the different aspects of the jeep and trailer on the other side you'll see advertising for four of tamiya's 1970s um, tank kits so you've got your walker bulldog you've got your m4 a3 e8 Sherman. Notice how they've spelt Sherman with an A. Uh, M60A1 and the M42 Duster. Now I think, but I'm not sure, most of these have been reissued. I know definitely that uh, I've seen the Duster on eBay and the Walker Bulldog is always available and it probably is the original. It's quite cheap. It probably is the original 1970s kit. All right, so that's the box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. So you've got your Tamiya instructions, which are classic full history of the Jeep. One sprue, which is the clears, the Jeep and the trailer and your decals. And the other sprue is the figure kit. And that's basically all you get. I think it's uh, four sprues plus the clears, so not a great deal to this kit. But definitely an interesting 1972 kit to have a look at. So shortly, we'll have a look at the instructions. So let's have a look at the instructions. So as I said, it is classic old school Tamiya instructions with full history of the Jeep, where it was used, various examples of different usages and this carries on to the back page as well um, that particular one there the GPA amphibian is still available so it is quite comprehensive this um, instruction manual as far as history is concerned and as with all classic Tamiya kits it has a sprue layout. New Tamiya kits don't bother with the sprue layout, but in the old days they did, including a complete list of all the parts. So that's very handy if you're new to modeling to actually learn what these parts are rather than just stick them on. So let's have a look. So start with the main chassis, suspension going on, the main bodywork, and it does have color callouts, flat brown, etc. It doesn't have the Tamiya colors on them. So this is the beginning, round about early 1970s, I believe, uh, is when Tamiya started to introduce its own line of paints. But it was early days for that. Picture here of the assembled model itself, in part, of course. This is the rest of the body going on with the chassis and the spare tire then you're putting the wheels on 
this is the engine a fairly basic detail engine front grille so that goes inside and you can have the bonnet open if you want to have a look at the engine it does show you how to paint it in all the different colors and you'll note it does tell you the colors so it does have Tamiya's usual uh, marking which is that dot thing there and it does actually tell you the colors rather than give you just like X F whatever overleaf there's your bonnet going on and yes it is made so it can open this is where you're going to put in your figures if you want to with the main machine gun there's your windscreen these are the four figures you get notice you also get a mortar that you can have set up or folded as storage in the trailer overleaf very simple trailer put together so it is one box no separate parts main chassis suspension and the wheels go on this is a, a canvas cover that you can use for the jeep if you don't want to have the uh, machine gun on and here is a list of the different accessories that you can use so you've got bazooka various boxes and tarps fuel drums cable drums etc and a picture of the whole kit all made up ready to go so over here you've got your markings so it does have markings for four different um i won't say versions but four different units that use the jeep nice and straightforward there's a couple of mili military police ones in there and instructions on how to paint your figures including how to apply the mp uh, markings if you want to have a military police one and it does explain here as you can see first battalion 13th armored regiment first armored division right and so on so really comprehensive and as i said before there are no actual tamiya colors noted in this these are just named colors because it is early days for tamiya and its painting all right so that's the instructions so let's have a look at the decals and as you can see they are very yellow um, i do have other decals in my spares box that i can probably use worst comes to worst i'll just get some aftermarket decals for the jeep but I will give you a shot of that uh, because they've gone yellow it will give you a really good idea of how comprehensive or how detailed um, this kit was as far as markings for the Jeep and trailer etc. So next we'll have a look at the sprues themselves. And let's have a look at the sprues. So first one out I will show you is the clears. Obviously the windscreen and the headlights. Uh, unfortunately because this has been in the bag. And in the old days Tammy didn't separate these out by a separate bag. It does have some minor scratches on the windscreen. But they're very minor. I might be able to polish those out. So I'll give you a shot of that. And the next brew out is this one, which is the actual Jeep body itself. And in case you're wondering, how do I know this is a genuine 72 kit? Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. There you are. Made in Japan, 1972. All of the sprues in this kit are copyrighted 1972. So that is the main framework chassis of your Jeep interior suspension and drive chain back of the seats back of the jeep itself and the sides i'll turn that around because i think that's that is your 
dashboard and various accessories like spade, axe, etc. The handles are a bit thick, but um, I guess with a little bit of trimming, they won't be too bad. There is very little flash. I can see a little bit of flash on the hook here, but apart from that, 1972, that is still a very clean kit. Very clean. The next sprue is the trailer, plus of course the canvas hood and accessories. So again, 1972 copyright, that's your trailer framework and body. So it's one piece, one solid piece. Most of this sprue is just your accessories for the trailer. Canvas hood, and even for a 72 kit, it does have stretch marks, etc., which will come out really nicely with a, a bit of a wash. This is the framework for the canvas hood, if you don't use it. Jerry cans, cable spools, bazooka. This is your 50 caliber heavy machine gun. That's your mortar tripod. Various ammo boxes. These are the frames for the canvas hood. Over here, you've got your steering wheel, rear vision mirror, canvas um, bags, etc., and a nicely detailed radio. So, quite a few accessories for this kit, whether you use them in this or not. Um, if you wanted to, you could almost create your own canvas cover for the trailer and use the accessories elsewhere. So, Give you a few shots of this one and then we'll move on to the next sprue. So next brew is the wheels and the radiator, quite nicely done. These are hubs for the wheels. You do get seven, four for the Jeep, two for the trailer and one spare wheel for the Jeep. Let's have a look. So I'm not sure if you can see it. There is a mold line down the middle of the wheels, tires, which will need to be removed. But that shouldn't be too hard because they just need to be roughed up anyway. There is no maker's name or anything, any details on the tyres. But that's neither here nor there. And that is the wheels and tyres for the Jeep and the trailer. So this is the last sprue in the kit. There is only four main sprues plus the clears. Um, very straightforward build, I think. Uh, most Tamiya kits are anyway, so no one should have a problem with any of these. Let's have a close-up look. So comparing these guys to modern figures, which are highly detailed, the detail is probably a bit soft, especially around the faces. But they still will come out not too bad if you paint them up. 
So this is the driver figure, as you can see by these arms. There is a bit of flash along the mold line. Nothing unusual about that for figures even today. This gentleman here, again, the detail is a bit soft, but it will come up quite nicely. He is the assistant driver. Uh, he's the guy sitting on one side with his leg out. Let's have a look at this man. So this guy here is the, according to Tamiya's instructions, he's the commander. He's actually the guy with the 50 caliber machine gun. You can tell by his stance. There is a bit of flash there, as you can see. He's leaning back a bit, firing the machine gun, or ready to fire the machine gun. And this gentleman here, standing, he would be more likely the commander because he's the guy who's pointing, shoot over there, go there in that direction. But the detail, as you can see on the uniform, is quite soft. The faces have some detail, but it's not um, modern, crisp, sharp. But like I said, paint these guys up and they should come out not too bad at all. So let's have a look at the rest of this sprue. So their helmets, of course. That is a stand for this guy here. So he stands upright. You get water bottles, grenades, garands, and a toy gun and bayonets. So the detail on the weapons, that's very soft. So luckily I do have replacements in my spares box so I can replace these with something a little bit uh, crisper and a little bit more detail so that's what I would recommend but if you don't have those you can still use these um, 35th scale paint them up correctly and you probably won't have a major drama so that's the last brew in this kit And that's it. That is Tamiya's US Jeep quarter ton 4x4 truck Willis MB. Uh, kit number 35015 came out in 1972. How much did this one cost me? Nothing. I was given this one. Um, last time I saw this kit come up for auction on eBay, it was going for around $35, $40 starting price um am i happy that i got it for nothing most definitely um it does bring back memories of building this back in the 70s and i'm actually looking forward to putting this one together um in the near future all things being well so anyway like i said that brings us to the end of this review so thank you for watching as usual guys thank you for your likes and your subscriptions and your comments they are always welcome any questions, whatever, throw them my way. I'll see if I can answer them. And thank you. As usual, guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later.